my name is Henry, I'm 29 and I'm a communication project manager at the French Korean Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Korea. I came to Korea for the first time in 2014 as an exchange student and after obtaining my master's degree in international relations in the Netherlands, I did another master's degree in international business in France for which I had the chance to do an internship in the marketing team of saint gobain Secret in Seoul and I kept working for this company for another two years as a project manager. At the FKCCI, I'm in charge of the digital marketing and content creation of all the Chamber's online assets as well as maintaining relations with the Chamber's members and organizing events. I really love my job because it allows me to contribute to the development of relations between my home country of France and my adoption country which is South Korea while being at the heart of the business relations between these two countries. On my free time, I also love to take photos of Korea which I share on my Instagram page. And one of the things that fascinates me the most about Korea is its incredible history. Through the country's history, I think one can understand a lot about Korea's modern society and its behaviors and it's something that is really really helpful when living in Korea. And I also love this mix between modernity and tradition that you can find in cities like Seoul, Jeonju or Gyeongju. But also in a society with a hyper-connected population that still follows centuries-old traditions such as Seollal, Chuseok or the Kim Jong, for example. Korea really had and still has a huge influence on me in many ways. And despite the hardships that one can experience in this country, I believe that it helped me being more open-minded and respectful towards differences. And more importantly, it gave me a new culture a new home of sorts that I can really relate to as well as a very valuable experience that I can be proud of. To conclude, if I had one advice to give to young French people who want to start their professional career in Korea, I would recommend to learn speaking Korean as much as you can. Not speaking Korean can be a big blocking point in finding a job and also in your everyday life. And on the other hand, speaking Korean at least a little will make your life so much easier to find your way in the streets, to buy food or just to make friends. I really hope my experience will motivate more French people to start their career in Korea. Thank you for listening. 감사합니다. Nice to meet you. I'm Anna Ponsol. I'm Executive Vice President for Hyundai GB FMS. I'm in charge of project and solutioning. Hyundai GB FMS is the only one Korean company who provides integrity facility management. Our purpose is that each client can enjoy expertise, service quality, uh, cost saving, and of course, the latest innovative solutions to have the best workplace experience. After living few years in Japan and Taiwan, I decided to come here as a working holiday visa. Actually, I just planned to be one year here, but now it's been six or seven years. After a few months, I realized that it is the country I want to live in. So I started my journey to find a way to live here. To say the truth, it has been very difficult for me to find a job. Even though I have a strong background in architecture, I speak five languages, including Chinese. I didn't give up and I get an opportunity by Yonder GBFMS to develop my career, my skill and they really trust my capability. Working in Korea is quite challenging. Um, Our company grew so fast that I have to work a lot. I do overtime, I go to a business trip. I really dedicated myself to the company and I grow so fast with the company. And now I'm providing leadership and strategic direction to account management and operation functions. I think Korea's primary asset is maintaining a strong national culture while having very important interaction with other countries in Asia and other parts of the world. And I have this feeling that Korea is a very dynamic country that promotes innovation. And this is why I really found myself in this country. And Korea has given me this opportunity to have plans on the long term and very stable for both my professional life and my personal life. Hi everyone, my name is Papsi. I'm 25 years old. I've been in Korea for two years now and I work as a data engineer plus YouTuber, photographer and stuff. Until now, my journey in South Korea has been quite complicated to be honest. I first came here in 2017 for my studies, data engineering, I studied in Daegu. I came back again in 2018 for an exchange program in Hanyang University. I mean, the first exchange program was such a great experience to me that I just wanted to kind of confirm what I felt. 
which was kind of true because just after my second exchange program, I couldn't do anything else but finding an internship here. And now I work officially as a data engineer. But I also told you that I'm making videos, right? Because actually, South Korea is an amazing country. The problem was that at that time, in 2017, we couldn't find that many various contents about South Korea. We could only know about K-pop, K-dramas, movies, and that's it. So that's why I just decided to create a YouTube channel based on Korea and to introduce the magnificent Korean culture to my French audience. I would say that Korea itself brought a huge value on my journey and my personal experience because I feel like this country is constantly moving. It might sound a bit cliche, but you have to be here to believe it. Everything is moving so fast, everything is being developed so fast, and it's really thrilling. As a data engineer, I can really see how is the technology industry in South Korea. Really dynamic, always trying to go further and discover or even create new technologies. And also as a content creator, because I feel like Korea is an amazing place to make videos and to show it to French people. Nowadays, we can see that the soft power of South Korea is becoming huge actually. I guess, I think it's the first one in Asia. And I feel like in the world, or at least in the Western world, it might overtake uh, Japanese soft power. I feel really blessed to be here because I learned a lot of things. And the fact that I live in such a dynamic country makes me more ambitious. Living here in a country where literally everyone is doing its best to have a great life, I don't know, it's just amazing. So I really hope my journey in South Korea will inspire more and more young French people, whether they become engineers, content creators, or whatever. Thank you so much. Kamsamida, Chunaru Deseo. Bye bye.